Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this presentation. Let's start. The world is moving forward day by day with the increasing number of data and faster growth of modern technology, which demands a high data transmission system. That's the revolution of wireless technology and communication. As communication is moving forward, the cheaper and more effective ways of communication become available. Depending on the mode of transmission of signals, there are two categories of communication system, which are wired and wireless. Wired communication employs wires to link devices to network. And wireless communication is a method of transmitting and receiving information from one point to another without any physical medium. Wireless technology is important for the rapidly growing technological advancement over the year. Now, I would like to introduce myself. My name is MD Hawk. I am on your team at Network and Computer Security, Sunipali. Today, I will cover 16 highlights of wireless communication. These are what is wireless communication, its importance, some basic differences between wire and wireless communication, history, basic elements, wireless network and equipment, along with types of wireless networks, technologies, classifications and types of wireless communication, the evolution of first generation to sixth generation networks, attacks, securing method, and some advantages and disadvantages of wireless communication. Let's dig into wireless communication. It is the rapidly growing and most vibrant technological area in the communication field. It is a method of transmitting information from one point to another without having any physical medium, like wires or cables. In this method, the transmission and reception of signals are accomplished with antennas. This system uses IEEE 802.11a b g standards to increase the stability of networks production together. By using wireless communication services, we can transfer data, voice, images, videos, and many more. Some of the commonly used wireless communication systems in our day-to-day -day life are mobile phones, GPS, remote controls, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and other. Wireless technology has increasingly become a bigger presence in everyday life. The main purpose of wireless communication is mobility. This communication provides flexibility to connect multiple devices simultaneously and is very easy to use anywhere at any time. Its installation is pretty simple and less costly. It covers a wide range of areas where wire connection is not possible, like rural areas, battlefields, and so on. Here are some basic differences between wired and wireless communication. Wired communication requires physical medium. It is used for short distance communication and does not require modulation of signals. On the other hand, wireless communication does not require any physical medium, but it uses antennas. It is for long distance communication and requires high frequency modulation of signals. Wire communication is more secure and reliable compared to wireless communication. Propagation delay is high in wireless but low in wired communication. The cost is low in wireless communication systems compared with wired communication. In wired communication, hubs, switches, etc. are used, while wireless routers, access points, and other devices are used for wireless communication. This slide contains some historic years of wireless communication. For example, the invention of the telegraph, radio, television, mobile phone, 
internet and so on a wireless communication system can be divided into three elements transmission path channel and reception path transmission path of a wireless communication system consists of encoder encryption modulation and multiplexing the channel in wireless communication is the medium of transmission of the signal it uses open space for transmission a wireless channel is unpredictable highly variable and random in nature the reception path of a wireless communication system comprises of demultiplexing demodulation channel decoding decryption and source decoding wireless networks provides data exchange between computer network when the use of traditional cable technologies is difficult or impractical wireless networks transmit information between computer devices this information can be in any form like email video or voice messages wireless networks are characterized by wireless links mobility of nodes and dynamic network topologies wireless technology allows data to be transmitted over the air any wireless network is based on its protocol wireless devices can be controlled in three ways like a wireless button or switch wireless assistant software and operating system control there are four types of wireless network these are wireless personal area network wireless local area network wireless metropolitan area network and wireless wide area network wireless personal area network transmits signals wirelessly between devices in limited areas typically 100 meters it is a computer network used for communication among computer devices close to one person personal area network may be wired with computer buses like usb and firewire infrared and bluetooth are the two current wireless personal area network technologies this network is based on ieee 802.15 standard wireless local area network is the linking of two or more computers and provides access within a building or limited outdoor area wirelessly this network uses radio communication and utilizes a spread spectrum technology it gives users the mobility to move around within a broad coverage area it uses wi-fi to connect and transfer data it is based on ieee 802.11 standard wireless metropolitan area network covers multiple location within a geographic area and it serves a range greater than 100 meter this wireless network is larger than a wireless local area network but smaller than a wireless wide area network it is governed by a single entity like isp government entity or any other large corporation it is based on ieee 802.16 standard wireless wide area network provides regional nationwide and global wireless coverage it uses telecommunication cellular network technologies like 2g 3g 4g lte and 5g to transfer data it is flexible with cloud management deploying and relocating it is based on ieee 802.20 standard wireless communication technologies bluetooth wi-fi zigbee and wimax are the common technologies of wireless communication bluetooth technology allows to connect a variety of different electronic devices wirelessly to a system for the transfer and sharing of data it uses radio waves 
to communicate between devices. Advantages of Bluetooth technology are easy installation, lower power consumption, secure data communication, less interference, and easily upgradable. These advantages of Bluetooth technology are low bandwidth, short range communication between devices, it can connect two devices at once and can lose connection in certain conditions. Battery exhausts faster when Bluetooth is on. Wi-Fi technology uses wireless router as a communication hub to connect various electronic devices wirelessly for transferring and sharing data in a local area network and the internet. It uses radio waves to communicate between devices like a smart TV, laptops, a smartphones, etc. It is based on IEEE 802.11 standard. Wi-Fi technology has some benefits like it is a flexible network connection that can be accessed from anywhere in the Wi-Fi range. Multiple devices can be used at a time that does not need any regulatory approval. The setup of this technology is easy and fast. The cost is low with the technology. Though Wi-Fi has benefits, it has some drawbacks too. Power consumption is high in Wi-Fi. The signal could be interrupted due to bad weather conditions. Security is one of the major issues in Wi-Fi. It uses radio waves that is harmful to humans. Zigbee technology is designed for low power consumption, low cost wireless sensors, and control network. It is based on IEEE 802.15.4. This technology is used in commercial applications like sensing and monitoring applications, home and industrial automation, and consumer electronics like gaming consoles, wireless mouse, etc. Zigbee has some advantages. Zigbee is a flexible network structure that can be easily installed and it is less complex than Bluetooth. It has a very long battery life. It supports a large number of nodes and it is more reliable. There are disadvantages of Zigbee like short range, low data speed, high maintenance cost, security is one of the major issues, low transmission and low network stability. Replacement of Zigbee equipment can be costly. WiMAX provides broadband connectivity anywhere at any time for any device on any network. It is based on IEEE 802.16 set of standard. It is used in a variety of applications like fixed wireless for last mile access to home or business, backhaul to a fiber hub etc. The main advantages of WiMAX are high-speed wireless internet connection over a broad coverage area. A single location can serve hundreds of users. It has mass faster deployment of new users. WiMAX design with better quality services. It works on an unlicensed frequency spectrum and does not require telephone lines and SIM cards. The disadvantages of WiMAX are big power consumption, higher latency, big delay, interference, high cost, and requiring a line of sight. Wireless communication system is classified into simplex, half duplex, and full duplex. Simplex communication is a one-way communication system. Radio broadcast system is an example. Half duplex is a two-way communication system, but not simultaneous. For example, walkie-talkie. Full duplex is also a two-way communication system and simultaneous. Mobile phone is a great example of this system. These are the most essential types of wireless communication. Satellite communication is one type of self-contained wireless communication technology. It is widely spread all over the world to allow users to stay connected almost anywhere on the earth. It contains 
two main components the space component and the ground component infrared communication communicates information in a device or system through infrared radiation it is used for security control tv remote control and short range communications broadcast radio communication is the most famous form and probably the first kind of wireless communication radio transmitters send out data in the form of radio waves to receiving antenna microwave communication uses radio waves for transmission in this communication the data or information can be transferred using two methods one is satellite method and another one is terrestrial method it is used in communications radio astronomy remote sensing radar and heating application mobile communication systems have become one of the hottest areas in the field of telecommunications and it is completely wireless mobile communications technology has come a long way since the initial analog phone the rapid development of the internet with its new services and applications has created fresh challenges for the future development of mobile communication system the advancement of 1g to 6g with technologies is the phenomenal growth and important developments along the way a wireless form of communication in which voice and data information is emitted transmitted and received by a microwave there has been a huge advancement in mobile wireless communication in the last few decades this advancement consists of several generations and is still going on this slide is a glimpse of different generations of wireless communication first generation system was an analog technology that was used for voice services it was based on advanced mobile phone system technology it was developed on 1980 some of the key features were analog switching frequency modulation and frequency division multiple access this generation had some drawbacks like poor voice quality and battery life users had to carry large sized mobile phones the number of users and cell coverage was limited roaming was not possible between similar system the second generation was a digital technology where global system for mobile communication was most widely used it used digital signals for voice transmission the key features of 2g were sms service roaming enhanced security and encrypted voice transmission there are some weak point like low data rate limited mobility fewer features on mobile devices limitations of users and hardware capability the third generation system was developed in 2000 it started with the introduction of the universal mobile telecommunication system smartphones became popular in this generation some key features were higher data rate video calling enhanced security more number of users and coverage supported mobile app and multimedia messages location tracking and maps better web browsing tv streaming and high quality 3d game some disadvantages were expensive spectrum licenses costly infrastructure equipment and implementation higher bandwidth requirements to support higher data rate expensive mobile devices compatibility with other generation and frequency band the fourth generation mobile system was an ip based network system the main goal of 4g technology was to provide high speed quality capability and security multimedia internet over ip and low cost services for voice and data key features included higher data rate enhanced security and mobility high definition video streaming and gaming reduced latency and voice over lte network some disadvantages were expensive hardware and infrastructure 
costly mobile devices and spectrum wide deployment and the upgrade was time consuming the 5g network is using advanced technologies to deliver ultra fast internet and multimedia experience the basic protocol of 5g is ipv6 some key features are low latency higher security and reliable network improve efficiency by using technologies like small cells and beam forming forward compatibility network and cloud based infrastructure 5g is facing some challenges like gigabit mobile communications have so far provided little added value for consumer is still in adequate availability especially in rural areas 5g friendly devices are required more transmission antennas are essential for uniform network coverage concerning issues of health hazards from mobile radiation 6g is the successor to 5g cellular technology this generation is expected to facilitate large improvements in the areas of imaging presence technology and location awareness some anticipated key features are higher capacity and mass lower latency ultra fast internet access data rates will be up to 10 to 11 gbps it will help advanced society through smart homes cities and villages may be used in the production of energy from the galactic world home automation space technology and defense applications will be modified with 6g network satellite to satellite communication natural climates will be controlled with 6g network sea to space communication and mind to mind communication may be possible wireless communication provides a lot of advantages due to increased accessibility at the same time it is sensible to have many security risks several severe attacks are developed for countering the security protocol if the results of these attacks are successful they can cause severe inconvenience and threats to society some of these attacks are parallel session attack denial of service on sensing attack replay attack eaves dropping attack impersonation attack and nuisance attack by applying some methods like encryption antivirus and firewall and securing the wireless router and access point can mitigate the risk from attacks here are some advantages of wireless communication it is free from wires and easy to set up it provides global reach by providing networking in places like rural areas battlefields etc where wiring is not feasible wireless network is more flexible and adaptable since it is easy to install and does not require cables the wireless network is relatively cheaper wireless network is easy to carry and reinstall in another place it has good mobility of users despite the advantages of wireless communication there are some disadvantages it is less secure and unreliable as communication is done through open space high chances of interference and jamming in wireless networks due to external factor like dust storms fog and bad weather transmission speed is comparatively less easy to hack wireless networks all in all wireless communication have enabled the connection of billions of people to the internet to reap the benefits of today's digital economy wireless networking provides numerous opportunities to increase productivity and cut cost it also alerts an organization's overall computer security risk profile Elimination of all risk associated with wireless communication is completely impossible but 
it is possible to achieve a reasonable level of overall security by adopting a systematic approach to assessing and managing risk. It is definitely an exciting time as the road to 6G is actively being refined by organizations across the globe. Its use cases span into multi-industry and will help advance society further by enabling other technologies which thought of as science fiction by providing communication and interaction in ways only dreamed of. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what I wanted to share with you today. I prepared the presentation based on these references. Before going to the question session, I would like to thank our professor for his long-standing contribution to exploring the knowledge of this high data transmission technology and sharing it with the team. It's really a good learning for the upcoming advanced technology. Now, I would like to take your question. I believe we all have a good understanding of wireless communication as of now. It will add value for the future. Thank you all for your precious time, attention and cooperation.